This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Satva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to Your Mom's House. All right, Gene Amatic, Gene Stars. <laughs> got your mom glasses That's on. Silly, I do. I, it's when I'm tired, my vision gets worse, yeah. worse or way worse. Way worse, sir. Yeah. Now I noticed you said you had some farts building. Why is that? <laughs> because you gave me a really heavy veggie omelet. Yeah. Scramble, I should say. It's the pregnancy scramble. It's going to make both of us dump. Yeah. You said you've been. Struggling more since it's hard. Yeah. There's a there's a time when your intestines just get pushed all the way up. Yeah. You know what? I tried though the squatty potty today, and that actually really helped. What about anal? What do you think that'll help? I know. I kind of want to stick my hand. You ever have the impulse to put your finger in your butthole to pull out the the turd? No. Oh, <clears throat> I do. I just it's imagination. I won't. Do you want me to put a little toy in there for you? <laughs> I mean, that could help. Why not? Oh, I'm so against that. Try it out. Try it out. I'm so afraid of that. Would you let me do that to you? Yeah, try it out. I'll let you try it out. Sure. Beads? Sure. Why not? No, you would. Don't lie. I'm serious. Why are you lying to these people? I would let you do it. <sighs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah. Of Should course. we do it for your birthday tomorrow? That is my birthday. You're right. Happy born day, Tom. You mean 49? Um, yeah, I think so. How do you feel about your Smurf day? Um, I feel pretty great about it. I'm you're excited. Gonna be, you're going to be 39. I know. You're not even 40 yet. Ugh. I know, I know. So gross. You're not even a person. You don't think I'm a person yet? No, 40, 40 is when I think you really change, at least for me, that's when I was like, oh, I'm going to die soon. Yeah. Like you really start to feel your mortality and things do have a sense of urgency to them. Yeah, I'm on the cusp of that. I mean, I remember I remember the 29. Oof. I remember getting... Uh, I don't know. I remember feeling like, wow, this actually is... Happening? It's happening. But I then remember that when I officially hit 30, like when it was 30th birthday day, I was like, this feels different. Mm. They usually don't feel different. You go through 24, 25, 26, you're just like, hmm. I know. Same thing these last few years. 35, 36, 37, like nothing. But I, I do expect that I don't think I'll be affected much by turning 39, no. But I think that when I, I hit the big four, I'll be like, whoa. <laughs> it is half the point. It's kind of crazy. You really are at the halfway mark, theoretically. I mean, if you're yeah. lucky. If you're lucky, yeah. <sighs> it's so scary. I do think about I don't want to live super old. No? No. What? How old do you well, want to be? Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not about the number. I don't want to live for a long time in poor health. That's how like I feel. When I see a lot of old, like older people. Who, oh, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> and you not can't have, not have my faculties, and you don't enjoy me. anything. Yeah, the good thing is though, stand up comedians because we tend to use our minds. They, we can work for. I mean, look at Milton Berle. How, how old was he? We always old. either we die really young or very old. Yeah, Phyllis Diller like ninety six, and she was still performing at like ninety four or something. And then hopefully, all of you that that are fans now <laughs> will be fans when you're old. So you'll come see us, and we'll be like. I really did <laughs> shit my pants today. And everyone will be like, ha, 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 that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Got jeans. Yeah, Carlin stayed fresh. He was 80-something. 70. He was only 70? <laughs> he died at 70. Well, he did a lot of drogas. That's he looked older. He looked much older, yeah, actually. Yeah, but he did a lot of blow. He did. I think what we've been talking about is that you can't, you can't party at 50 like you did in, in your 20s. Because I think that accelerates the aging process. Pretty much, yeah. The partying, dude. Partying will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. 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 Wait, who, who, who else are old comedians? Are we uh, uh, fucking uh, Rickles. He lived in nine, like 90. He was working yeah. and he was doing, doing shows, doing shows dude. Even uh, Numb Nuts Jerry Lewis, right? Is he old. still alive? No, he's dead. <laughs> uh, he was, you know, talking shit old, too. He was old as fuck, yeah. He's old as fuck. George Burns, Bob Hope, all those yeah. guys, were old. Red Buttons, all those guys. Red Buttons, your yeah. favorite. You love those Red guys. Buttons. Were all old as shit, man. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. No, I know. Maybe the 
maybe doing comedy, like actually being around laughing and stuff helps too. Definitely. And just keeping your mind sharp and performing and you all, gotta keep your stuff. sword sharp too. 50, yeah, sure. 50, 50, 50. <laughs> Do you 50. think that's how Jerry Lewis lives so long? Is He's that just sharpening his sword every day? <laughs> That would have been great if he turned that awful interview into a conversation uh, about that. The best conversation. Then I'd start to really like him. Yeah. He was like, you know, I can control my orgasm. It's like <laughs> nobody I know. <laughs> now that's an interview. Yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah, I know. I think about that. Because my parents are on that. I mean, you know, your dad too. They're in that window right before it, it all falls apart. It's falling. They're in the yes, last chapter. Yes. So like I, you yeah. get to enjoy them, you know. I do. You do. For, for, you enjoy yours <laughs> for this last uh, <laughs> this last run. Yeah, this is your last hurrah. However, I feel like your mother will outlive us. I feel like she's she's one of those going to sneak under the radar. Yeah, be she'll be here for a minute. Be like, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah. I hope they stick around. I I love your folks. Yeah, I do they're, too. I do too. They're fun. I feel like I need to try to see them more. You know. Hey, I know. You know. Well, we they're coming will. out. They're coming out. In a little for while. the birth of the kid in mm-hmm. July. Yep, for uh, Carl's Jr. <laughs> somebody, somebody said that to me the other day. They're like, yeah. "What are you gonna name your son, Carl's Jr.?" And I was like, "Hey, you listen to our show." Yeah, Carl's Jr. is great. I think Domino's for this one. Carl's Jr. was supposed to be Ellis's name. Yeah, Domino's. No, I'm craving Domino's twenty four seven with this one. I just don't do it. I don't eat it all the time. What if you named him seriously? First name Domino's with the apostrophe, <laughs> and middle name belonging to Domino. Yeah, the middle name Thin Crust. <laughs> Right? It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Thin cr- <laughs> That's yeah. what we order. Extra cheese. Extra pep. You can't eat pep when you're preggers, man. <laughs> Stop being preggers, God. No, no. Oh, yeah, we got to get into this food thing we were going to talk about. Why don't we open the Let's show Let's open the fucking show. Shit. Properly. There's Come a lot on, I want to get into. Shit, Blanca. Shit, Blanca. There's a lot I want to get into. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here. He, here. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Blow me up, Tom. Hi. Oh my God. I'm looking for a white lady. Oh shit. That's tattooed and dominant, and be willing to put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> Call me. I'm the sissy of Fremont Street. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stand. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. And you know the. Uh... In keeping with the theme that we've observed, is, is also a shirtless guy. He's also shirtless. <laughs> this is a, yeah. See, this is the thing. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Oh my God, that guy's so crazy. I don't even know what I was observing. I don't yeah. know what I was feeling. I don't know it's what happened. It's the sissy of Fremont Street. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being serious? That's what he said. Fremont is in San Francisco. I mean, I can only assume, but I, I'm not, I don't know. Can I please see that again? Oh, sure. I'm so confused right now. Hi. Oh my God! I'm looking for a white lady uh-huh. that's tattooed mm-hmm. and dominant, and be willing to put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Call me. I'm the sissy of Fremont Street. There you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's got a lot going on. It's so much. It's like, where do you begin with a clip? Put this like on this? the Doctor Drew uh, <laughs> checklist. Hold on, please. that's right. <laughs> Have that going. I'm gonna call this one the Sissy of Fremont Street. I think it's an accurate name for the file. Sissy of Fremont. Jesus. I mean in Fremont. Sissy Gemini. Again, you stupid white bitch. That's what I'm looking for is a stupid tattooed white bitch that had put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Huh. Call me. Twenty two. Give the number. Wait, you white slut. <laughs> now, here's what I find interesting about this. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, that it begins everything almost like a beg, you yeah. know, submissively. Yes. And I'm looking for this. and But then he switches it and gets aggro. I, I agree. I'm not sure what the tactic is here. Is it to shame her or to woo her in with his submission? I well, don't know. Well, because it kind of seems like to me that maybe the tactic is by insulting the potential dominant person. Oh. That makes them more aggressive. He's going to antagonize her, and then she's going to come with a fury in a really tight dress. Yeah. You better wear this dress, you fucking sissy. Yeah, really beat the shit out of him. Oh, my God. Because usually you don't see, I want to be submissive, beat the shit out of me, and then you bitch, you stupid bitch. They don't, I, I didn't know that they could insult the dom. I didn't think so I didn't either. think that was protocol. But maybe he just really wants his ass kicked. 
I'm more intrigued with his Hair, choice. Face, yes. La- <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're married. Yeah. I, I, I'm more intrigued all with All the things going on <laughs> visually. <laughs> I'm more intrigued with the selection of which teeth he chose to keep. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I also like the framing that he... Oh, it's, uh, it's all the cock Six diamond. feet above the head <laughs> so you can see the <laughs> ceiling really clearly. Now, the sound was good. Yeah. For, he's got a newer phone. He's got a... Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm just saying, why keep the entire bottom row of teeth and then none of the top? Hmm. Uh, and the bottom is really gray and yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Some you, interesting you know spaces what I mean? here. Yeah, like, why keep... One, two, jump. <laughs> One, two, jump. One, two, jump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but why preserve just those? Like, you... You can't. Clearly, you're capable of keeping some of them. Why not try to keep all of them? Yeah. You know? It's a really good question. It's a really good... <laughs> How much for you to fulfill this man's desires, Tom? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's talk a dollar amount. I mean, mouth-wise, whose la- <laughs> mouth are you more into? His? Baby, <laughs> 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 Oof, 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 oof. I'll tell you, all the other guys, Yeah. only because this guy's mouth smells of booze, too. This one here? It's soaked in booze. It smells yeah. like, a, like a warm beer. Yeah. You don't think the other guy drinks? Not like this guy. This guy's been drinking all day. Yeah. What oh, do you no. think? <laughs> this is pretty bad mouth. What do you think? They're both pretty disgusting. Pretty wretched. But see, I think the other guy's a more disgusting human being overall. Why do you say that? Now I that's just think an he's interesting. Grosser. He's a grosser dude. Yeah, because this guy's clean. Like he's got yeah, a clean pair of jeans. This guy takes care of himself. He just didn't have any regard for his teeth. But I mean, right? The, the other or guy wearing is... sunscreen. Clearly. No, yeah, no. He's been outdoors for a while. <laughs> outdoors for about fifty, sixty years. But <laughs> he's been the other network. guy is. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the other guy <laughs> keeps, you know, toenail clippings and like y- he's doing weird shit. on the floor and yes. then walks on. Uh, he's just you're he's right. Nasty. That's he is, interesting. You are nasty. You're nasty yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. He like jars his. Um, he puts his turds in formaldehyde. Yeah, he's keeps them really under gross. the house. Yeah, he's especially disgusting. Yeah, yeah, a lot of problems. Yeah, he's got more mental problems. This guy's just a fun drunk. Mm, yeah, this he, guy. That's is... his parlor trick. <laughs> Ugh. Even his highs. The high is menacing. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out. Insults? You're skipping white bitch. <laughs> yeah. he, he hates himself, and then he hates the person that he's asking the favor of. Yeah, I'd say he just hates himself. Yeah, yeah. it's all projection. I'm yeah. waiting, you white slut. That's hilarious. Yeah. You white slut. Yeah. I'm waiting, you white slut. A lot of people are probably going to see slut wife. Um, the parallels between him asking for that favor and then uh the piss on me uh beat me guy you know well yeah there are many yeah this is now we've uncovered by the way this is a your mom's house exclusive yeah uh we introduced the ex- my building try it out you want to fuck a piss on me try it out see she has applied only as fuck man i'm looking right. for hard crud- see the difference is that this guy is definitely amped up on some drugs. he's 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 already at a 10 yeah he's at a our 10. guy's at a two he's gonna get it at 10 once the girl but shows the, up yeah but the other guy i feel like is pr- maybe not into drugs you know, we don't know. We but don't. He doesn't look good. Nothing looks good, <laughs> for sure, on any of the people that we. Sh- Our show policy is: if it looks good, don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this guy, this guy, is in overdrive, right. asking for his favor. The other guy's actually pretty chill about it. <laughs> well, I was gonna He's say that right? he has a really creepy child. Your mom's voice. house has broken so many video genres. Uh, the boring video. And really boring so many stars. And yeah. <laughs> the fart videos. Mm-hmm. The uh, the excited dad boner videos. And now we're breaking the overly excitable sexual request videos. It's just exciting when we come up with a new genre. We break barriers. Glass ceilings <laughs> shatter on this show. So, yeah, this guy's hopped up on drugs. It's a... Uh, the other guy, you could see him. The lighting was better. The sound was better. <laughs> Again, yeah. shirtless. So he does meet the shirtless the criteria. The shirtless like criteria is huge here. It's really <laughs> something. And you have to have a shitty apartment background. You got to see like a ceiling Check. light. Yes. <laughs> like a cottage cheese ceiling. I was so there. <laughs> surprised how uh, Dr. Drew led with that on every analysis. He's like, let's see what's going on in this apartment. Like, 
I never really pay attention to it. I, I would always be focused on what the guy looked like or what he said, but no. And Drew the looks surrounding. Yes, was like hmm, yes. not really the best decor. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the guy with the breathing and the COPD is mm-hmm. that the word? Um, his closet was behind him, and you could see how disheveled his. Oh, living. that guy's really, really <laughs> crazy and really high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's really disorganized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> disorganized. Yeah. And mentally, too. Now, who do you yeah. think's the most fucked up? So, the COPD guy, the piss on me, beat me. Now we've got Julian Fellow's teeth. Uh, well, see, here's the thing about piss on me, beat me guy is that he might just be super fucked up. In the sense that he is chemically fucked up, with yeah. I'm saying with drugs. Oh, his drugs. He might be yeah. able to behave normally, not high. When he's sober. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a totally, I mean, it's like anybody could fall into that uh, trap in a way. In other words, if you put see. me on drugs and alcohol and make a video, it's not going to be a, <laughs> it's not going to be a good video, <laughs> but I might be able to keep it together sober, you know? You really think. No, no let I me wouldn't... just let me just hear what let me okay. hear, let me hear for, if you're hearing your argument correctly. You're saying that the piss on me beat me guy, when sober, is somehow sane. Like he he could be like you or me. Maybe not. No, not like you or me because he's not normal. Right. Okay, and he's not <laughs> in the circle of normal. Oh, okay. But I'm saying we're seeing him only amped up right. on dust. <laughs> And so this is a real heightened version of who he is. Amped up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good word for it. He is amped up. You know? Uh, also, COPD guy, oh he's also God. high as fuck in all his videos. <laughs> but I think his eyes are more clearly mentally ill. And so, <laughs> like, he would register more like a, a shooter, like a fucking... <laughs> You know? Well, yeah, because he's. I I think the COPD guy also has delusions. Um, yeah, no, he's really sick. He's really yeah. <laughs> but piss on me and beat me guy. <laughs> piss on me, beat me guy. I feel like probably has a job. Piss yeah. on me, beat yeah. me. Yeah, no, he's gainfully employed. Yeah, he's got you, a house. He, he's got keys to. You his can house. tell him like I need you to get this done. He'd be like, all right, just yeah. drop it off over here. Yeah, he would do it. <laughs> But fucking COPD guys is hell in, no. incapable. He'd be like, "Well, I was walking. I, I see what you're trying to do to me." And he's super paranoid. He's like, no, "I fucking set that shit on fire, you asshole." And you're like, right? Okay. Hyper paranoid. Now, yeah. what about the right now, right now, right now, right now? Super paranoid, fucked up guy. Yeah. I think he might be bipolar. Yeah. I'm gonna go with manic or manic depression. Yeah. The the, the mood swing. Yeah. I think there might there might be an element of mania to that. Right now, right now, right now. That that yeah. may not just be drugs. Yeah, it's crazy. Because that feels like mental now, right illness. Right now, right now, right now. Yeah, right now, right that's now, mania. Right now. That sounds yeah. like mania. You know what? All good questions for Doctor Drew. Next time he gets in here, he can um yeah he can yeah. tell us the verdict. Your big hit doesn't matter the subculture. It's ma- manic. Yeah. You hear how manic that is? He's sick. He's very sick. Yeah. <laughs> Now this yeah. guy, but see, but which, okay. So now that we've gone through all of our sickos, yeah. Julian Fellow's teeth here. Yeah, I feel as though he might just genuinely be an old school, hundred percent homegrown SF pervert. Yeah, like just a hardcore <coughs> guy yeah. who just leads with his dick, and he's putting himself out there. Like he might be the You're most right. normal. Of You're totally right. He might be the, the most bunch. together. Yeah, because yeah, he seems sober. I would say that he's sober in that video. Yeah. He's he's kinky. He's weird. Well, he's the guy who, when he's waiting to pick up his coffee, goes, um, uh, "Wouldn't mind if you put a little extra cream in that." And right. Everybody goes like, <laughs> "Come on, man!" And yeah. then Lyle. He, he gets a yeah. little kick out of it, and you're yes. like, "Yeah, he just he comes in here, he says stuff like that, <laughs> you know, like yes. a, like a creep." But he's not really. He's bothering a creep. Anybody. He's a creep. He's a creeper. He'll come in. Um, uh, he'll get off of his bicycle, and he'll be wearing like the tight bicycle shorts and like the clicky clicky shoes or something and he'll come in and he'll be annoying and he'll yeah. be gross like you said yeah yeah but he's not mentally i don't think he's mentally ill i think he's just got a kink yeah well we'll see you know then again i feel that way about a lot of these guys excuse me and then two or three videos deep and you're like oh there's a lot more shit happening there's a lot more shit happening well i hope he finds his uh padded white slut mm-hmm mm-hmm uh, pretty soon. Hope she beats the shit out of him too. <laughs> he's so. And, and another thing too is that he's got an extra chin, like a lot of chin meat. <laughs> yeah. And you'd think that you'd record from the top, but he does it from the bottom, well, which is wanna, not flattering. You want to show what's out there, you know? 
<laughs> yeah. Um, not flattering. Yeah, that's true. No, see. it's not very good. Um, yeah, see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's not a good angle. You, you're not you're doing yourself any favors. White lady has tattooed. <sighs> Man, yeah, he's just a perv. You know? Yeah. That is a... Yeah. It's very hangy, that second chin. Um, you know yeah, what this reminds me of? What? Um, we were watching Turkey. that... Andre the Giant documentary. Oh yeah, and there's a they interview. Well, they interview a bunch of people. It's it's really good. It was yeah. a really good documentary. HBO I mean, I always it. loved Andre the Giant, but knew nothing about him. Really. Yeah. Um, and uh, Bill Simmons um, company did this. It's a really cool documentary. It shows all of uh, like his whole story where he started in um, uh, France, you know, France, and and they they have this. Where the really, naked ladies dance, like really in depth look at his upbringing and how this you know he was like a normal size kid, right? Which is you know you just don't picture him like that, and then he had this uh, pituitary disorder, right? Which kicked in around fifteen, 15 yeah. which sounds about right, right? Like adolescent, yeah. And, stuff and then he he really turned into an actual verifiable. Giant. giant and he his organs kept growing because he refused medical treatment and yeah. what happens everything gets bigger but your heart doesn't right yeah, and, yeah, and the organs are squishing the and and the thing is they offered him a surgery after he was already enormous yeah so it would have been fine because he was worried about oh will my whole career go away yeah like, you're not going to shrink and uh so he just kept growing yeah it's sad it's very sad but um but to your point, I believe you wanted to bring up his friend, yeah, his I'm best to, friend. I'm trying to find this. Uh, let me see this. I had I had this photo um, at your insistence. Actually, you uh, this man appeared on screen. You go, we have to look at this guy you need to study him. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, here's the thing. I am I am by no means a supermodel. I don't think Tom claims to be a model. We we're not in show business for our looks. Uh, but I do know that when a camera is on me. I, tr I try to look good. Like even today, I have makeup. It's Sunday. I'm pregnant. I don't want to put on makeup. I do because I know the internet is watching. And when you're on camera, you should just try to clean up a little bit of what's there. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, work with what God gave you. Uh, hygiene, you know, grooming, basic grooming stuff. That's all. So this guy. Yeah, yeah, model. And this is a bad look, dude. This here. <coughs> Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of red. It's drinking, right? Yeah, but it's it's just interesting facial <laughs> hair. It's more. Let, let's start from yeah. Okay. Like I don't understand what's going on because so yeah. it connects. It's down here. <laughs> then he shaves off the whole chin, but leaves <laughs> a chin strap, just a little chin strap at the bottom. <laughs> Nothing underneath that. Yeah. Thinned out, thins out the part between the top of the mustache and the nose. So it's like pencil thin Pierre yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> it is very odd. It's a very odd. Because I'll tell you, huh. as a guy with a beard and, yes. and who observes beards, what this guy needs is, first of all, what, don't dip it low here, okay? See how he dips it low? Yes. Exposes more of this cheek fat here. <laughs> you want to cover that. And then you see... This here definitely cover, because this just looks like you're in a period piece. There's no reason for this at all exposed. Right. And then I would let this grow. You want to just cover some of this loose meat right here. Because <laughs> it's he's got a gullet that meat. Because here's my he's my highlighting thinking. the gullet. Right. The beard is meant to kind of conceal your imperfections, yeah. which I'm all for. Yeah. I get it. Now what his mistake was is that he tried to contour his face mm -hmm. with the beard. Sometimes guys with really huge faces too. Who have no no sense, no semblance at all of, of a jawline mm. will I've make a that. fake jawline. So they go like, <laughs> "This is where the jaw would be if you no. could see it." It's terrible. And then there's just a. It's like somebody drew. It's like a surgeon's about to <laughs> perform, and they draw like, "Here's where I'm going to make my incisions." That's what they draw, and they think <sighs> that that's giving the illusion that you're seeing a jawline. Right, but it actually makes the face look thinner oh. gaunt, and weirder because all you're doing is looking at the line. Looks very And you're weird. noticing that all this you're, fat. You're, you actually, it looks worse. Way worse. Yeah, it looks worse. Yeah. This is just, this is just bad, bad work on, bad concept and bad execution. Now, as a beard connoisseur yourself, what do you, so what are you suggesting he should do? Well, he should, first of all, he should just, I'm saying, 
fill this out. Don't dip this down. No, keep it. Keep, what's the line that he should keep? He, like, sh- he should higher. go like he should go from here. Yeah. Across here. There you go. Fill this in. Yeah. Fill this in completely. <laughs> the chin. Well, because what, what we're saying for those of you who are listening is this guy's. First of all, he's got a very. He's a white guy with a very red, red, red face, and then he's got like a white beard, like that Kenny Rogers white. <laughs> but it's a super short. Shortly cropped and beard. This is and it's, nonsense. And he's got his entire chin cut out of the beard, except for a little chin strap. Like he buckled, <laughs> like you're buckling a helmet on. He left a little bit underneath. It it's looks one of the more silly. bizarre beards I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. And he's American. He's not like yeah, no. He's it's uh, an odd choice. Speaking of nationalities, by the way, but you know, all respect to to uh, Andre and his friend here but you do need beard help okay I was just he, trying he to needs it. a lot of beard help. and now, speaking also, of help yeah. and choices yes what do you think of my fashions today oh i i think you're you're out of your fucking mind yeah. here i think that you've officially gone over to my team mm-hmm. of euro trash yeah i don't know how it happened you and i kind of switched places here uh i think if you were to land in budapest today mm-hmm. people would start speaking hungarian to you Really? Oh my God! You you could be related to me right now. Like you could be legit one of my cousins. But the only thing you need are some white jeans. Yeah. Because that's you know you're still looking too American here. But that is a wild jacket. For those of you listening, he's wearing a like a tie dye powder blue Adidas old school three stripe. Yeah. Like zip up, right? Which are yes. my favorite. And, but like my crazy favorite. blue patterns on it. Crazy psychedelic. Yeah. It's it's really out of your wheelhouse. It generally. is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what possessed you to wear this. Like, I what are you either. feeling inside? I just feel like it's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm Stella. I'm getting my groove back. You're feeling your just, thing. Yeah. Stuff like 39. that. Yeah. Well, it looks good on you. I will say, I'm very jealous. I kind of wish I had one like that. This is something that's totally in your wheelhouse with regard to Andre. Is that he was purported to be. An amazing farter. I know. I love this, this part about the documentary. Something covered in the doc for people that. That's so funny. Oh, great. This is Vince McMahon talking. Yeah. Well, he would be talking if I gave him vo- volume. Ugh. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Andre so enjoyed flatulence. When he passed gas, it was it was an event. My kind of guy. Flatulence. That was his trademark. <laughs> and he had a real knack for lifting his left leg. I would see him go into the launch position, and I'd say, oh my God, here it comes. You've never heard anything like it. It sounded like, you know, like a deep roar kind of like thing. It would rumble. <laughs> the sound of, of Andre taking a fart? Taking a fart. Taking well, a fart. they were loud. <laughs> big man, big fart. Yeah, you'd love you to get you in an elevator and cut one of those long 30 second farts. <laughs> it sounded like skin was flapping together. <laughs> I remember every once in a while we'd charter a plane, but to see the pilots, you know, almost like somebody gets smoke in their eyes. I'm like, you're going to wreck the plane, Andre. You can't fart like that in your pants. And the pilots would be, Jesus, F that. God, never, never on this plane again. That's pretty cool, huh? Big man, big fart. That's what they should have called this documentary. Yeah, I know. That's it. Now, I, I, that's it's what it so say funny. On his tombstone. You know? <laughs> big man, big fart. Big man, big fart. <laughs> Fart's even bigger. <laughs> yeah, that would be a contest. Yeah. Andre versus uh, King Ash Ripper. Well, I think it's funny that <laughs> what everybody remembers of a man's life is yeah. his farts. That's pretty well, impressive. They're just saying, you know, it's one of the things. They talk about his drinking, too. Remember that? Yeah, he's a real boozer. They said, you know, it got it got to a point of mythology about his drinking, but. But a couple people were like, well, you know, his standard, like his evening out began with 24 beers. 24. Yeah. And then like three bottles of wine. And he would then... drink those. Uh, they, uh, Rob Reiner said, you know, on Princess <sighs> so Bride, crazy. like, what do you drink? He's like, oh, I had like four bottles of wine, three bottles of cognac. And they're like, are you, are you drunk? And he was like, ready to go. Like, what do you want to do? And he would start in the morning mm-hmm. of shooting, which is pretty funny. But to him, you know, a bottle of wine is like a glass of wine. Oh, I know. It's because he's a giant. He's, he's like enormous. A sip. Yeah. You know, he must they have showed him holding a beer, and it looked like a looked like one of those mini cans. You oh know? my god! Yeah, his paws were just tremendous. Huge. Guy. They showed uh, he had like a size twenty two ring, which I don't, I don't. I'm sure that's not even something that they had to. You know, everything is custom made for him, and 
uh, like a regular guy put three fingers in gold. Yeah. Like that's his ring. That makes me think, what do you think the, uh, speaking of three fingers, what yeah. do you think downstairs was like? Well, I mean, his finger itself had to be like a normal dong. Like a sausage. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. So when he's just like tap, tap, tapping away in there. Well, they said that he was really big with the ladies. Everybody was curious about what kind of horse cock this guy had on him. Well, kind of makes me think, though, that if it's anything proportionate to him, it would just damage most women. Right? Yeah, it's not. It's more of a novelty thing. I yeah. don't think you'd want that on a regular. I mean, at least personally, it's kind of like giving birth to a kid all the time. It was up to seven, four, five hundred, and that's crazy. Everything on him was just so big. How big were his nuts? That's more. I think yeah. that's even funnier. Like carrying around those big ass giant balls. What What about that thrust power, though? I don't know. You know, like, I don't think he could because towards the end, like his back was so. Well, that's messed the up. end. What about in his prime? Ugh, you don't think you want that guy on top of you? That's I, I'd be saying. scared. Yeah, I think most people would be like, "You lay on your back." Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was cowgirl all the way. What if he had like just way like just waves of load that it would just take <laughs> <laughs> twenty five seconds of rah, and he like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more curious about, you know, and this is one thing that the documentary didn't address, and I think we're all upset about. Mm. What were his dumps like? We know about the oh. farts. What about the dumps? Oh, it had to be really insane. Yeah. His shits must have been bananas. Of course. I can't believe that guy could shit in a normal toilet. I'm imagining. Well, and that was the saddest part, actually, about this documentary, is that he spent most of his life on the road. I know. And, and it's years ago. It was before, yeah. like, modern day you know accommodation i mean i had a lot of empathy as i know you did for his travel burdens the travel burdens and then um getting on airplanes and having to take up two regular economy seats Mm -hmm. and then not being able to urinate like for he'd go to japan from the states can't fit in the lavatory he can't he couldn't he so i had to like pee in a bucket and then put the bucket in the toilet and they would just pull the curtain yeah piss in a bucket so sad and then dump the bucket and then beds and cars it just must have been torture for him horrible yeah well uh, anyway fascinating documentary yeah very well done really really good i really enjoyed that um oh can i do this real quick sure i want to give this shout out because nothing is more exciting than free stuff and hmm. I came home from this last week in Atlanta to so much free stuff. It's always just, I mean, I feel very lucky to get it, but I just yes. wanted to, I got tons of stuff from Roots of Fight, all those t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that fight stuff. Lot, yes, was, yes, that was awesome. Oh, I remember, incredible. I had you model it for me. Incredible. It was great. Uh, the Undefeated sent me shoes and hats. Thank you for that. Um, I forget the guy's name. Is it Jesse? I don't know his name, but... Um, the team at Undefeated, if you know anyone there. Thank you guys for sending that. I got coffee from Smoking Aces in Lexington. Somebody who was at my show, I spoke to him for a minute during the show, sent me coffee. We got a bidet from Bio Bidet, which um, is getting installed. Monday. I am so excited for this bidet. Yeah, so I don't have a review God, yet because we haven't used it, but it's, it's getting installed. And then I also wanted to shout out to, um, I don't remember if I, you know, with, with this schedule with the movie, it really fucked up when I remember if I said something. Everything's like out of order. Um, but I did Rogan the other day. If you want to see that, I was on uh, Joe's podcast. I did Colbert a few weeks ago. If I, I don't know if I mentioned it on this on this show. I don't or think not. you did. Um, I tell the Jared Subway story. Oh, that's a um, funny one. So it's uh, it's funny if you want to check it out. A lot of people ask me, "Do you guys talk about politics?" Because I don't want to watch it. I'm like, mm-hmm. no. Okay. So there's no politics. Um, you can just watch it if you want. And I did Jesus and Miro. Um, uh, the Viceland show. If you want to watch that, I'm on an episode of that too. Very and so exciting. I'm just plugging those things because they were all fun to do. A lot of publicity for your special. A lot of publicity for the special, yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. Most importantly, and I don't know if you're ready to bring it up, but I'm so excited. I'm so chomping at the bit mm-hmm. uh, to start talking about this because we, we sat around yesterday. Yeah. And I've been thinking about it ever since. Okay. I mean, are you ready? Okay. Well, we were talking about, we were, we had some friends come over and we thought, why don't we get like some donuts for them? Yeah, that's right. And <clears throat> the friend goes, you know what? Actually, we're not going to eat them. We're pretty health conscious. And we're like, yeah, we are too. We just thought it would be funny. We haven't had donuts in forever. Yeah. And then we got to thinking like. What's your favorite donuts? What's first? your favorites? Like I, if you're going to do a donut run, what would you get? I, personally, I'm cake all the way. Yeah. I hate, um, I don't know what the other one is called, like batter or something. I don't yeah. like that squishy. I don't like shit with jelly. It's very in it. light. 
It's a lighter cake is heavier and I dense. like heavy and I like yeah. some chocolate frosting. I like my sprinkles on there. Yeah. But um fuck anything with like a jelly filling. I fucking hate that. Like uh, I don't like those. Um what else do we hate? What else do you hate? Uh yeah, I- I'm not into the jellies and jams and Yeah, it's gross. I like uh, bear claws I can tolerate for like two bites and I then like I'm those, really with over the French it. crulers. Oh, is that a, the chocolate topping? The Swissy circled one. You yeah, know? I like those. Those are good. I'm, uh, I mean, a regular old fashioned glaze. I'm, I can. I, I love an old yeah. fashioned glaze. I can do that. I like those. Or as I used to say, let me get a dozen classics. Classics. Yeah. Um, I do, however, enjoy a Krispy Kreme, and I know that's not a cake donut if it's super fresh and hot. And hot. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I do like the donut holes. Well, here's what happened. Oh, and when I like so, an everything donut with all the disgusting crumbs, the ones that you get at, um, I know I'm not a Dunkin' Donuts person, but I do like that. They're everything donuts. Here's what we ended up is. saying. So we were like, we we're the crumbs. We we're having the what's your favorite one? What if you're making a run? Yes. And then from there it went to how many of those do you think you could eat? <laughs> In other words, if, I, if you go like a Krispy Kreme fresh hot one, yeah. how many could you handle? And then we talked about how many you could eat before you felt sick, you know? Well, with Krispy Kreme, I think before you feel sick is one. Let's be honest. Like, you eat, it tastes good, and then I'm already like... It's uh, such a sugar rush. It's, it's so much sugar. It's overwhelming, and it's good, but Krispy Kreme, realistically, <clears throat> I could eat maybe three before I wanted, before I vomited. You think so? You think you would vomit after three? Well, any more than three, and I, w- I yeah, would feel so sick. I could see that. I definitely can't do it pregnant, um, yeah. but... How about you? I don't know. I mean, like, I, I definitely, I've never done more than one or two of those hot Krispy Kreme ones. You know, it's one always, or two. You never done more I've than never, one or two. I've never bought them. In other words, I've only had them when I am. Oh, like in an office or yeah, something. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually stopped in and purchased them. <laughs> oh um, yeah, I know, right? Never. I've had donut holes. You know, the oh, like the yeah. those are. Not from there, from like a Dunkin' Donuts or something. But again, I like the cake version. I don't, I hate the mushy, whatever the fuck that is. So I wonder, but how many could I max out on? Are you talking about the the donut holes? I'm I'm wondering that one. Right. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. But here's, wait. I think the chocolate donut holes are usually, I feel like those are cake, like we're talking about. And then that the... That the glazed ones might be that They're old fashioned. Yeah. No, it's not old fashioned. Uh, it could be either or. You can get them old fashioned holes. Okay. Okay. So anyway, what's your favorite? Let, let, let's start there. Like, what is what's the donut that you can eat the most of? It might be just chocolate, like chocolate, chocolate. In other words, the chocolate cake style one. Yeah. Yeah. You could do more than a few of those. Like that's what you want to eat multiples of. Is what I'm saying. I think so. I mean, I, I you know. I'm, with that stuff, I don't want something crazy. I just want, you know, I like powder donut too, like an old school Ugh. powder donut. Oh, you're so nasty. I mean, with the jelly, not with the jelly. No, though. no jelly. No, no, no. Wait, you, I hate those, and they're all squishy, and then the powder gets all over your face and your mouth and your yeah. beard. Yeah. Right. Those. So which one? Okay. So here's the thing, though. If you're gonna do a challenge, which I think. I feel like I should challenge. This is where it's happening. Someone to do it though, right? <laughs> I don't know. Just sitting alone and doing it. I think it's it's better to have competition. Well, who are you thinking? I mean, obviously, we know a really fat guy. That could probably do it. <laughs> are you but, serious? Well, I mean, he's super fat, and I'm sure if there's a challenge. Should we try to call him? Yeah. Let me see if let's see if he'll do it. There's no way he wouldn't do this. But but Tom, but wait, before you call him, yeah. we need to determine what type of donut this will be. Okay, because here's our thinking, okay? We, we were talking about this yesterday. There's the regular cake donut, let's say a chocolate with chocolate frosting. Yeah. Versus the donut hole. Yeah. Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, clearly it's harder to eat the whole donut with the frosting. I could eat, you know, more of the holes. Oh, I so think, many more holes. I think the hole is the way to go because it's more fun you know, you, you get a bunch, you can, <laughs> well, it does, yeah, I think, I think. And I, I, on a, I don't think you can eat as many as you think. Well, yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's a good part about it too. Yeah. Especially Mr. Exaggerator. Yes. So let's see. I think you're going to get really sick quickly on those holes, because the sugar on those. Ah, oh, shit. He's not answering his fucking phone. Well, we'll, we'll set it up. Okay. I yeah. think the sugar content on a, on a hole is, it's a lot. Because I can only eat like two or three of those before I start to feel kind of ill. One more time. I just need to call him one more time. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. Case. I think it's deceptive, and I think oh, maybe he's flying because it goes straight. To oh, voice it's Sunday. Now. He's flying. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So so let's let's talk about your number then, versus what you think okay. he's going to say. I think. So we're trying to max out here, right? You're trying to max Wait, out. Wait, in a time frame, too. It's got to be within a time frame. You tell me. What are you comfortable with? Here's the here's deal. We're going to set up the parameters with Bert. Yeah. So that we, we set up the game. How many, I think, I'm trying to think like eating cat, because I also don't want to do like a, in a minute or something, you know? Oh, uh, that sucks. Here's the thing I don't want to see. I don't want the hot dog eating the Nathan's thing where you're cramming and it's a quick... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be that. It can be like at a leisurely enough of a pace. I'm talking, I want to see volume. I want to see, I want to see quantity. How about um, 12 minutes? 12 sounds good. A, a donut, a yeah. two, three. There you go. Um, that's, that's plenty. Yeah. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Okay. How many a minute? Let's see. Casually. Um, He's not going to be casual though. No, he's not. He's going to go. But that's the thing. It's almost like, which strategy do you want to use? Right. I mean, do you think we could do 40 in 12 minutes? Oh, my God. That's so many. It'd you be think so? so? Sick. Dude, that's I think lot. past 10, you're going to want to barf. Oh, 10 is nothing. Come on. Here's the thing. I think after two dozen, I would feel pretty sick. And then it's how much further can you push it? Past sickness. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I mean, after 24, I'd be like, oof. That's a lot. I feel pretty gross. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of cake. Yeah. And then like <laughs> so much in your stomach. Yeah, and I'm gonna vomit. Doing yeah, this. you're gonna be sick. You're gonna want to, anyways. Yeah. You can't digest all that shit, right? <clears throat> What's your know. dump gonna be like after all that sugar? That's just a crazy sugar, sugar binge. Ugh. Should I go for forty? That's so crazy, Tommy. No, 20. No, that's so easy. That's not even a challenge. 20 of those is disgusting. But it's not a challenge, though. I'm saying I, I could just fly through. I know I could. Are you going to train for this? No. No, just show up. Oh, my God, 40. Let's say, I'll say 40. Okay. And then. What do you think he's going to say? 60. Well, definitely if I say 40, he's going to go, yeah. But I think. But let's let him say his number first. Right. Well, we already okay. said it, so. He's not gonna hear this. No, oh, people are gonna tag him on it for sure. Oh man. I think if I think I would challenge him, I would be like, Do you think you can do eighty? I'll I'll just start with that. <laughs> just to see if he's like, Of course. Of course I could. Mickey Mantle Gene. Mickey Mantle. Eighty? Easy. I'll do hundred. Now he does have a high tolerance for sugar because of his alcoholism. He also has like a, a high tolerance for indulgence. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Just for like yeah. taking it in. So yeah, he does. He he gorges a lot. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing is, see, even the forty thing, that's not really that crazy of a number. It's almost like I'm I'm predicting it based on how sick I want to feel. Because in <laughs> truth, I could I could <laughs> I could eat more, but I already I I'm know. I'm already picturing how sick I'm going to feel doing this. Oh my god! <laughs> and I really just want him to see him eat even more. Like that's that's the goal. So then maybe we just make your number lower so that he. No, higher. higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna try to outdo you. Yeah. Now, here's the other question: Do we go store bought Entenmans? Uh, uh-uh. uh, no. <laughs> we go fresh donut. Hostess, do we go gas station? No. Those packs with like the chocolate, the cinnamon, the fake ass. Those are not cool. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. So where do we get the donuts? It's it's got to we'll be go like to a, a fresh a, a shop. Fresh donut shop. Yeah, okay. we'll talk to them. We'll set up like we're gonna buy this many. <laughs> yeah. No fucking way. <laughs> My mom used to get those shitty ass Entenmans, uh, the the powder ones with the red jelly in the middle or the Hostess. She yeah. was so fucking nasty, dude. By the way, Ugh. somebody um noticed they were watching back episodes. Yeah. And when our son was uh, baptized. It's episode 353 of yeah. your mom's house. Um, you're talking about how your dad couldn't make it. Yes. And he went overseas. Where'd he go? Do you remember? Uh, <coughs> shit, was it Vietnam? Yes. And you made a prediction and they pulled it. Stop it. Yeah. So, you know, we had a, we had a great time. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And our son's going to heaven now. And hopefully we'll have uh, cool pictures from Vietnam, too, to show. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a new mom. I don't know. I got to check this. Just <laughs> this is charming. 
Yeah. Wow. You predicted your new mom. Wow. My Viet mom, if your you Viet will. Viet mom. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I knew back then. Yeah. What a neat story. Maybe Pretty this great. is when the love connection began. Mm-hmm. Who knew? I mean, it was an interesting choice that my father chose to go to Vietnam over attending his only grandchild's baptism. That in and of itself was a fun thing to deal with. Yeah. What is a maze? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Well, I wonder how many half- Thank you Viet- for pulling that. Whoever, yeah, that was a maze. Whoever noted that. How many half Vietnamese brothers and sisters I have? What do you think? Alistair found it. Thank you, Alistair. How many? Oh, how many like, Vietnamese? How have? many yeah, you might siblings have do you think I have worldwide? Is the real question. There's no way it's none. There's no way it's none. No. I mean, he's been straight banging since 1980. I would say, like hardcore dropping seeds yeah. in bitches internationally. And like your dad, he is not of the generation that's like responsible for. You know what I mean? No, I talk about it on stage how <laughs> I didn't I mean my dad told me that he didn't, he's never ever pulled out. It's crazy. In his life. He's I'm just like, dumping clips and so people. So you always just did it and he was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "How did you know that you wouldn't get pregnant?" He's like, "I don't know." Like they would say whether, They don't care. I'm like Yeah, but and your dad's doing it around the world. Dude, international clip dumps. For a long, since 1980, dude. Yeah. Most of his adult life has been spent just bam, bam. Third world no countries. He's, he's like, right, open your mouth, open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way. Yeah. I, I bet you, man, I'll bet you when he kicks it, I'm going to have people coming out of the woodwork. Like, I'm your half brother. I'll be like, you fucking do look like me. Yeah. Like a half Vietnamese brother or sister. That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd be nice to have siblings. I mean, I am an only child. I okay. welcome, I welcome you, my international siblings, <laughs> wherever you guys are. Thailand, also, he visits the uh, uh, Philippines, places like that. Could have siblings there. <laughs> All kinds of stuff happening there. Um, oh, that's so crazy. I can't believe it that we predict. I predicted this being. Hey, mommies, I have a question that's been bugging me for a few days. I thought two of you. We're the only ones who could help. If your arm was cut off at the shoulder, would you still need to wear deodorant? Furthermore, oh, wow. would you, for appearance's sake, shave the lack of armpit hair or just rock the hairy shoulder mound? Hmm. Thanks, jeans. Brett. P.S. Piss on me, beat me. Yep, I don't give yep, a fuck. Yep. Hmm. Well, I think if you are cut off at the shoulder, you don't have to wear deodorant because there's no pit. There's no pit, yeah. Yeah, there's no <coughs> nothing covering. Like, there's... Yeah, there's no sweat. Yeah, it's just open air. There's no it's like, sweat. It's like putting deodorant on, on your back or yeah. something. You know, I was watching um, Britain's, it was, what was it called? Shut-ins, Brit- Britain's Fattest People. Yeah. And it's only where the folds of fat are that these people would kind of take a wet rag yeah. and wash between Makes the creases. Sense. You want to deodorize the places that are mashed together. Sure. So, yes, I think that They're pretty be... big, right? Yeah, Trima- I mean, it's all in stones. Do yeah. I 28 stone? I'm like, I don't know what that shit is. I had yeah. to look it up. But pretty massive people. That, that's a good one. Britain's, Britain's um, fattest Yeah, Britain's people. fattest people. Yeah, Yeah. it's not called Britain's fattest people. Mm-hmm. It's called like shut-ins. Right. Uh, Britain's, yeah, fattest. Here's another email. Mommies, I'm writing this while listening to episode 442. You're debating the cleanliness of the soap bar in the ass. Sure. You are assuming that nothing can live on the soap bar, but I have a grade eight science fair gold medal that says otherwise. Oh. For my experiment, I had subjects place their hands on Petri dishes, then wash their hands with a used bar of soap, Hmm. then place their hands on another Petri dish after incubating the dishes at my dad's lab. It was shown that the post-wash dishes contained more bacteria than the pre-wash dishes, thus demonstrating that bacteria thrives on soap bars. Shit. If you're running the bar across your ass, there's shit bacteria on that bar. <laughs> Hope that helps. I gotta run. I have a homeless black thug coming over to fuck me in the ass. Regards, Chris. Hope this helps. I love that yeah. that's a helpful email. Yeah, Thank you, Chris. that's really helpful. Thank you very much for that. Um... So, yeah, that is, uh, here it is. Where is it? No, I don't have it here. Fuck. Oh, here it is. Fuck me in my ass, man. 
Um, it's not going to stop me. Can I, may I read a, a tweet that I had come in? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say that with regard to that message, um, I, I definitely won't stop doing that. No, neither will I. And I believe it uh, builds a resilience, a tolerance to these types of bacteria. It's fine. You and I have not gotten sick so far. Uh, you you got you to gotta live your life. I can't, I can't be worrying about every fucking germ. You True. You know what I mean? True you that. Live. Now, Tom, this one's for you. You're not going to like this, but um, in light of our open defecation mm -hmm. conversation a while back, the tweets have been pouring in. The emails have been pouring in. I know. I know what you're about to say. Well, let me read a tweet. Okay. Let me quote the listeners on this one. Yeah. They're very fired up at you. This one comes in from CJ Foster. He says, whoa, hold on, Christina P. and Tom Segura. Tom said he never open defecated. What about the poo pile and his friends that him and his friends had? Hashtag serious news. Uh, yeah, CJ, thank you. And, and the many others, the tweets that poured in, the emails. Tom, I'm going to ask you on behalf of all the mommies watching and listening. What about the poo pile? Yeah, it's a great question, but it's um, it's very easy. <laughs> <to> defecation. Um, <laughs> what was that? I, had, I saw... It said open defecation. Open so defecation. It was a song called Open Defecation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Open defecation. <laughs> open defecation. That lady's um, dissertation was on. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And in fact, <laughs> many households in rural India don't prioritize having a latrine. So let's compare India to some other countries in the world. On the vertical axis of this graph, we have the rate of open defecation in the so Epidefication. Um, um, yeah. I'm kind of curious about the song. So here's the answer to people yeah. questioning open defecation versus the poo pile. Okay. Uh the poo pile is in a backyard and while that's outside no, I just didn't consider open defecation, what she's talking about is people the way I interpreted it, it's like walking down the street, finding just a, a place that is not designated for it and doing it. We had X marks the spot, a ladder, a group, people watching, everybody's doing it. So it uh -huh. wasn't like, it wasn't the same as saying like, oh yeah, I just, uh, I had to go and I was, uh, I was in front of a business. I just dropped trial and I took it. That's why. So, so you're, you're saying your interpretation was that as long as there is a designated location for somewhere to poop, it's, it's, it's not considered open. I mean, I thought so because I mean, it was a, des it's, first of all, it's an enclosed backyard with a fence trees um <clears throat> you know i just didn't think of that as <laughs> as open defecation right and, and see i interpreted as many of our listeners did um open as just outside outside well it, or rather in a place other than a toilet yeah no and i i can see <laughs> the place designated for pooing I can see how there's it not be. many places you should poo. The toilet is the only place. True, unless there is a poo pile marked for you to poo on, <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. And I'm going to see my two poo pile comrades uh -huh. this weekend, actually. Well, and I would like some kind of a testimony, maybe a lie detector uh, situation. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm so sick of not knowing the truth behind this. The truth is here. I'm telling you the truth. No. I want a lie detector test about this fucking poo pile, and I think the listeners deserve it. We can do it. Great. Donut challenge, and then after that, lie detector test. Okay. Lie detector test. Why not? Is anyone out there a lie detector person? We, can find, we don't have to ask them. We'll find somebody. <sighs> yeah. Oh, look how nervous you look already. I see the fear in your eyes. There's zero fear in my eyes. Hmm. I was one of the founders of the poo pile, mm -hmm. and one of, probably the best pooer in the whole group. Yet when the subject of pooping outside came up, it didn't even trigger a memory inside of you. Because it was designated as the place to go. But an outdoor place to go, theoretically. Yeah, it's an outdoor place to go, but it's not... I mean, I'm talking about people shitting on the side of the road, shitting into the ponds, shitting, you know, like going to the lake at the park and taking a <laughs> shit there. That's what I interpret. This was like, <laughs> hey, let's all do this together. Let's bond. As, a, as friends. As friends and now, family. Now, walk me through this again at the poop pile, that yeah. there's a ladder, mm -hmm. and then you mean to tell me that you hang your your ass off the top of the ladder. You're sitting down. No, not the top of a ladder. It's like a makeshift ladder on a tree. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Again, this makes this. I don't know if this is the same story. <laughs> Listeners, you guys are the experts. Uh, go ahead and compare make, stories like to the past. It's like a makeshift, like, like uh -huh. boards <laughs> nailed into a tree. 
so that you can climb. Words, na- okay. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm listening. Okay. Can you draw a diagram? I mean, I can Yeah, just, I could draw a yeah. diagram for you. Okay, go ahead. Here. So there's a. <sighs> let's let's try to make this lie happen. Go ahead. <laughs> sure, Yana. Brown lock here, in effect. Did I tell you I spent two weeks at law school? Go ahead. <laughs> so. <sighs> all right. All right. I'm trying to. Do... It, it makes no sense to me. It makes a ton of sense. That a, a group of guys. And first of all, the stench must have been overwhelming. There's no way you'd want to shit on top of your friend's shit. It's just so stupid and silly. <laughs> and so disgusting. Okay. All right. And yeah, then let, let's see. Let's here. see the physics of this. All right, I'm trying to do... Yana, what time of year did the poo pile take place? That would be uh, late spring, early summer. Oh, so it's nice and hot, and this is in the south? North Carolina, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) so you mean to tell me in the humid, uh, southern, a balmy summer night, summer day, you guys were taking turns shitting on a pile of poo? That's what you're trying to tell me. And where was this in proximity to your living space? Right there. Right there. <laughs> so you guys probably had windows open too for summer breezes and such, and you didn't mind the stench of a poop pile coming into your room. It didn't bother you guys to be next to a sewage dump. Uh, Tom, <laughs> is that what you're telling me? And you had girls coming over and looking at your pile. A of number shit? of them. Oh bullshit. Yeah. I'd like to talk to one of those girls. If you could produce said girl, if there's a woman out there that saw the poop pile. Let me know. Okay. okay. All right. Well, that's so, something else. <laughs> here is what would happen. Yeah. Here's like a big tree, okay? And then nailed into the tree are pieces of wood that would act as a ladder. In other sure, words. Sure, sure, sure. You know what I mean? You could like climb. A, like a child would use for a tree house. Yeah. Or, okay. So you climb up this tree and then on this huge branch here. And then we had like a toilet seat out here. Oh, and fuck then we off. Had a, <laughs> we had oh, that's a new this. addition to your story. A no, toilet it's not. Seat it's up where, there. You know, it's like it's it's a makeshift that's toilet a, that's seat. That's a new addition. And then you hold on to this so you don't fall. Uh-huh. What's that? What is this that you're talking about? What are you holding on to? It's like a metal bar that we nailed into the, the you tree. You nailed there. the metal I bar. I didn't do it. Must have been Casey. Okay. And then, and then you just poop through it into the poo pile there. Okay. This is, you think I was born yesterday? No, I'm serious. Yana, this is... This baloney. Is, no, it's not baloney. This it really is isn't. Poo baloney. We did this for a while, and this a is, lot of people pooped off of it. This is a lot. This is so dumb. You don't understand the Carolinas. No, I understand a bunch of twenty-year-old guys, and their primary motivation is to get laid, not to shit on top of each other's shit. Mm. You really think this was going to help you get laid in college? We weren't thinking like that. We were thinking more like bonding <sighs> with our neighborhood, the group experience. Oh, and, and your neighbors didn't mind the smell of human. Poo wafting in the summer nights. It was primitive. We would we were all into it. Yana, you know the main thing is that when you would call out that you're going to do it, so many people would run towards who who would run towards this neighborhood kids, um, okay. other adults. Now yeah. we're now we're the lie. Is no, I'm complete. serious. The lie is. The, Let's tremendous. hear what this song is. I I don't remember okay. this one. Okay. Defecation. Open defecation. <laughs> Open defecation. Defecate in the open. <laughs> I like it. Open defecation. It's like equine diarrhea. <laughs> Defecate it's, in uh, the open. Equine diarrhea. Defecate in the open. <laughs> equine diarrhea. <laughs> it's like equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. I've seen a guy shit in alley. I saw a guy shit downtown. Anytime you have the urge to shit, you would just drop trow and just yeah. go. That's DJ show reference with open Very good. Really um, good. But yeah, no, the poo pile is definitely real, and um, it's not real. I understand why people were no. questioning. And that. the more you tell the story, the more senseless it becomes, and the less sense it makes. And the more detail, the more webs of lies. They go into the poop pile. It's it's utter nonsense. This is nonsense. No, I don't know anything you're talking about right now. But no, it's complete lies. Okay. You're out of your fucking mind with this stuff. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm trying to help you. I'm really trying to help you. Okay. Um. What do I want to scatting? Oh, speaking of scat, scatting. Yeah, everyone was really, really into scatting, and it's it's so cool and. <laughs> 
Ooh. Look at these two. Oh, Christ. This is alive. I mean, look at the people go crazy for them doing this, too. My favorite. Now, these are two very talented individuals. Yeah, Ella Fitzgerald, yeah. Mel Torme, yeah, for two sure. Two really super talented people, and this is annoying Even the shit out of me. This is terrible. Shit. Terrible, yeah. yeah. I, I could listen to Ella Fitzgerald sing all day, but yeah. this is fucking nonsense. <laughs> This guy loves yeah. it. I like, yeah, but I like loves the people it. sitting next to that. It's like your cousin Brian in the front. Your cousin Brian would love something like this. This is my face right here. Yeah, this lady, she's like, <laughs> fuck, are they doing? Do you know what I'm saying? This is the same audience member who thinks that, like, um, remember that movie that came out a while ago that was silent? Yeah, years ago they oh, made a right. silent movie, and this is the person on the Academy that votes for things like sure. that. Like, oh, what a treasure! Yeah, what an artistic treasure this crap is. <laughs> Tom, let's do our duet like they're doing, where he answers and ready. Yeah. Scooby doo ba be bo be dee ba bo. Bo 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 ba 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 Beep, 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 boop. We did it. That was great. We should be hosting whatever piece of shit that thing was. Well, maybe we could get better at it. I'm not sure oh, if we okay. can, but you know. Blood from Singer Secret. And today's video is for all of my jazz singers out there. Oh, shit. We are going to be looking at scatting. <laughs> now, even if you don't sing jazz and you've never scattered before, yeah. you will still get a lot out of this video. Because okay, cool. in order to scat, you actually have to have a few ninja music things going on no. first in order to get it going like what? We just so it's going it. to benefit your entire singing vibe anyway so what is scat well if you've never heard of scat before it sounds like this oh no don't do it please that kind of using nonsense syllables to basically turn your voice into an instrument yeah. and because there's no instruments around and you don't have the ability to play them, yeah. right? Yeah. Instrument that's very similar to the way that a, a horn would be up on stage, so a saxophone or a trumpet it's, or a clarinet. It's not, though. It's not. Um, no, of course not. It, it doesn't sound. It just sounds like, a, like you said, a, a two-year-old playing pretend. Yeah. It's annoying. We should nominate our son for a Grammy. <laughs> This is what infants do in their crib at night before they fall asleep. Yeah. And when they wake up, they kind of babble to themselves. It's the same shit. Yeah. It's it's so fucking retarded. I mean. <laughs> this is uh, another. Check this out. Each contestant will have oh, one attempt shit. to scat for as long as possible without taking a breath. Oh, no. I have scatted professionally. Um, I've scatted, too. And I'm too. pretty well known <laughs> for my scat style. Skeet, skeet, skeet. In the Midwest. Welcome to the big leagues, sweetheart. Uh oh. And she's off to a very controlled start. I don't know that you need a commentator. And I'm sure you millions of diehard scat fans back in the Midwest are rooting Sonia on right about now. And she's not disappointing. Who's a fan of this horseshit? Diatonic progression. Outstanding. Bring it home, girlfriend. <coughs> girlfriend. And there you have it. 36 seconds. Damn. Sonia seems quite disappointed. <laughs> yeah, what I was happened a little there? distracted by the band. I really wanted to groove with them. And then before I know it, I had I had to hold my that breath. That guy's staring at you. That's yeah. then jump out, you know, jump out the hole with the scat. But it was cool. Next up is Terry. Needs Ooh. to be 36 seconds for the title. Oh, my God. oh dear. Oh, 
I'm not quite sure exactly what style Terry's going with. What's the style that everyone would Or if consider. it really even qualifies as a style at all. Oh, my God. But you definitely can't question that young man's heart. His sanity, maybe, <laughs> but not his heart. So is this, a, this is a gag video, actually. Oh, right? okay. This must be. Yeah. Well, I thought the lady before him actually... She seems sincere. ...really was like, yeah, yeah. doing it. But this this is clearly over the a joke. So, all right. So silly. It's nonsense. It's the worst. Um, we'll be working on a scat album for those of you guys that are uh, interested. In a quick comedy, we're just going to do scat from now on. Yeah. There's such a demand. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Let's see what this oh, is. Oh, I wanted to read another email that came in, or tweet, rather. Yeah. Uh, last time we were asking, how is it that tattoo artists learn how to tattoo? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was cool. This came in from Left Handed Morty on Twitter, and he writes, Hey, tattoo artists practice on pig skin before they ever tattoo a person. Pig skin is very similar to human skin, and if you wrap it around a mannequin body part, it is a great training tool for aspiring tattoo artists. Um, yeah, so that makes a lot of sense. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? That's it does pretty make cool. a lot of sense, very yeah, interesting. how to learn. Um, Speaking of uh, -doo -bop -bop. cool things, a uh, little well, quick quick stop off in Studio G here. <laughs> oh, Studio, shut up. Just a quick one. You're kidding. I, uh, but, wait a minute. Have I not been up on him? Here, listen. Oh, fudge. The dream still lives. Oh. And my dream is for us to love one another. All of us. Ugh. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I did see this. This is so ridiculous. That, All oh, of us. It's really reminiscent of. I like that. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's so he's so phony. It just reads so false, doesn't it? Uh, his beard needs work. Yes. Too. I was going to say that. Yeah. Let's see. Dude, it's for us yeah. to love one another. All of us. Oh my god. All of us. I bet he is just insufferable. Yeah. Huh. Remember when um he was like he was interrupted doing Studio G for his birthday. And he was like, yeah. is this supposed to happen? What's going on here? Yeah, he, he wasn't that the nice fuck guy. was yeah. that? Yeah. All of us. All of us. Yeah, he's creepy. Super creep. Ugh. He needs beard help, definitely. He needs yeah. to grow it out a, a lot he more. He and the other guy should get together, go over their beards. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Scooby-Doo-Ba-Doo. What is this right here? This old lady... Polluting her street by parking. Oh, this is like an old lady losing her shit. You want to see it? Yep. Okay. What? Who in the shit are you anyway? Uh, it's none of your business. Get off of your goddamn phone. No, man. Get off your goddamn phone. Are you my mom? Are you my mommy? Who in the Jesus? Jesus Christ. Why don't you go back to Africa where you belong? <gasps> oh, wow. Get the shit off her! Wow. <laughs> she's got a crew cut. She's real crazy. Yeah, she's got a buzz cut. You see that? <laughs> she does have a really cool haircut. Jeez. Yeah, she, she's only missing that guy's beard because she has his haircut. The, <laughs> the guy. <laughs> yeah. Go Jesus. back to Africa, wow. To lead with that? She just was like, get out of here, go to Africa. I'm a nice guy. Who in the hell are you? Doesn't matter. Get the shit off my tree! Bruh, this is public this is public property. This, this is belongs to property. the city. This belongs to the city. Get the shit off here! Yo, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here! You get out of here. Go back into your house. <laughs> I like him. I also like that get the shit out of here is not no, an expression. It's not. It's fuck. And he corrected her kind of. Yeah, he was you like, get the fuck out of here. Well and go back into your house. Shut your goddamn house. No. <laughs> oh shit! Get the hell out of here. No. I like I like parking I this specific here. spot. <laughs> Me too. Shut your god <laughs> He is right though, and I hate when people think that the front of their house belongs to them. It doesn't. It, doesn't. it belongs to the city. Yeah. If you're on the street, you're on the street. Yeah, dude. And no one likes for the record, no one likes cars parked in front of their house of course. In the same way, but you're allowed to. Of course, it's public property. Yeah. Stupid bitch. I almost like that um it seems like her level of anger doesn't match her face entirely. Of course. Like, she's kind of flat. Like, the expression is kind of straight. She's like, get the hell out of here now. 
but she's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like yeah. not reading in her eyes. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if she had too much Botox or something. What did I do to you? She's shut old. up! <laughs> <laughs> you shut up! You shut up. Nobody's threatening you. You're polluting my street? I'm polluting your street. You should just I'm go back into you. your house. You're polluting your street? Since when did the street belong to you? Yeah. She's real crazy. Get, shit. Get the hell out of here! Nah. <laughs> if Get I were this guy, I might come back and park here every day for this show. God damn. Yeah, she's real fired up. Huh? Oh, she gave and you're I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, smart ass. Yeah. <laughs> you done? Oh, you shit. done? You, th- you think she's just old and crazy? That's yeah, she's it. angry. She's just full of rage. Yeah. She flipped out, actually, at first just... The anger started with who's parked in front of my house. Yeah. And then she had to take it up a notch. <laughs> God. She's really angry, though. Yeah. Well, How old do you think she is? I can't tell. 80-something? Oh, I was going to think like 47, 48. <laughs> oh, she's way up there. She's not doing so hot, Jean. <clears throat> it's the end of her road. Yeah. It is the end of her road. Um, somebody pointed out. That they, they think that, um, oh my God, I have a hilarious clip. Tell me if you think this is hilarious or not. Ready? Oh. Here we go. This is pretty good. Fuck. Oh no, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like it. Oh my God. Babe, what part is funny? The scream is funny. You don't think that's funny? Did he crush his legs jumping off that thing? I don't know. You don't get to see it. He just—he didn't jump from that high, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the cars. There's people listening. There's a car on a tow truck, like on the upper, like a double decker. And it starts to roll off, yeah. and the guy this is jumps a real to get funny out of the story, way. You know? And he just jumps. What? That's not that far. I mean, it's higher than you want to jump from. But then, why is he screaming? He hurt his leg. I think he hurt his leg. No, he hurt his leg, babe. <laughs> you don't think that's funny? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I feel bad for him. He hurt his leg. <laughs> like it's not. It's not okay. <laughs> Babe, this poor guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. okay. I can't. It's too. It's too sad. I feel sad. Really? For him. It's a hard job he already has. I know that. I God, just feel bad for him. You take the fun out of a lot of stuff. A so, lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so these guys are jumping out of a plane. Check this out. Right. Pretty crazy. This guy. I don't know. He has. He has to like improvise. Yeah. Better do something. I don't know why. His parachute's open, but something happens. Why are you laughing? I don't know why you're laughing. It's a funny scream. That's like my worst nightmare. Don't hurt me too much. It fucking hurts so bad. Oh, God. I got her jumping, man. Oh, God. He broke his leg. Ah! He broke his leg. <laughs> okay. Ah, I got Tim Finn. Ah, God! The right one! Oh, Tim Finn, the fucking song! Oh. I don't think it's that oh, funny, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. I told you, I can take it over here. Yeah. And then when he cries, does that make you laugh? Or that <laughs> when he, a grown poor man in the military? I can't believe you don't find those. You know, I'm so mentally disturbed. <laughs> you got to bring this to your therapist. Uh, this is something. 
<laughs> How do you not find that funny? Oh, God! It's called empathy, babe. I got it. I, I feel really bad for that guy. Yeah, me too. I hope he's all right. <laughs> Sounds sincere. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought you would laugh harder. Yeah. Well, hmm. you know. I was really hoping for. We've got to agree to disagree on these. <laughs> if there's even a debate. I okay. Mean, I don't. Uh, Please, not another hey, one. My name's Dexter. And I'm a ball hog. Aww, it's a dog. That's it's a ball cute. Hog. It's a ball dog. My name's Sasha, and I'm a ball hog. Oh, ball dog. Yeah, they're ball hog dogs. Yeah, ball this is hogger. a new porno series we're producing. <laughs> dog Dick Afternoon and the sequel, Ball Hog Dogs. Ball hog dogs. Yeah. Oh man, I really thought you were gonna laugh harder at that. Yeah. You might like this one. This is more your speed. Okay. Oh fuck. Here. You want me to hit up my mom? I don't care. You ca want me to hit up you now? I don't care do what you do, nigga. So these guys are arguing on Twitch, right? Mm hmm. Hit up your like forehead. Like, tell your forehead they want to fall. You Say fall, me. forehead. You're not trying to run me, bro. Because at the end of the day, I don't even know what you're me. saying, bro. Your mic is dog shit. I do this. I'm about to fart in my mic. You keep talking. I swear, bro. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I'm sick. I gotta sit here and smell that shit. <laughs> I'm not funny. gonna lie to you. That motherfucker funky. There's something wrong with your dumb ass. You know, get the fuck out of my broadcast, bro. <laughs> so, that was funny. He farted to end the argument. It's good tactic. Yeah. It's a good move. See, that was a palate cleanser for you. That was great. That was a nice fart sorbet. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You want to watch the other guy jump oh off again God. or no? What? To jump off the. No, I don't want to see any more violent <laughs> shit. Like, what? I don't like that, baby. <laughs> I can't believe you don't find those screams funny. Oh my God. Those are great screams. Tommy. What? It's not for me, babe. It's not for me. Yeah. I make life, I don't destroy it. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Such a bummer. Yeah. All right. Somebody said, uh, I think it was maybe even Blue Band, that this guy made this video and that he reminds him of my dad. Oh. That this is like Top Dog. Okay. Well, oh, now, yeah. uh, you know, you hear a lot of things here with uh, Sir David the Bard. I try to be cutting edge information. <laughs> I have found a new scientific way to uh, enjoy um, our sex organs. Now, now sit down, don't anybody stand up and cheer. This is a serious scientific report. <laughs> okay, dad boner. He's got a real dad boner. Yeah, he yeah. does. Now, it, it's coming out of BYU. No pun intended. <laughs> I wish I'd known about this. When I was at BYU, uh, I, I just knew I was going into outer darkness because I would masturbate and I thought, oh my God, you know, when we die, everything we've ever did, according to the Mormons, uh, are going to be on videotape and oh, everyone's going to be able to see it. And I go, oh, geez, you know, I'm, I'm a nasty boy. Any, Anyway. <laughs> he definitely has the laugh and the... He's amused himself. He's I, I'm just the he reporter. Likes okay, I'm just the reporter. Don't kill the messenger. Okay, this is called dick, D I C K, which means penis soaking. S O A K I N G. Why do you guys penis spell it? soaking. Well, I don't know. Uh, all right. Let's go down here and see if we can find. Here is the Urban Dictionary. Okay, <laughs> number one. Okay. Dick soak in the Mormon faith. Couples who wish to engage in premarital activities but do not want to dishonor their faith use the dick soak method. Ugh. Ugh. Um, the dick soak method occurs when the male's erect member uh, is placed inside the female vagina and lays still. Huh? Oh, God. Your dick's in there, though. Yeah, it's a... stupid. Oh. Now, you know, 
you got to talk to the little general about this. <laughs> to go into battle and lay down and hide, I don't know. I don't know too many little generals that are going to agree to this. But that that's kind of top dogish, right? That there. was very top dogish. He likes little general. Yeah, he, he, would, he would say that. He'd be like, I don't know if yeah. I could <laughs> lay still. Yeah. 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 This guy. Yeah, he's definitely has yeah, the. He's got the innocence of a top dog. Yeah. The sweetness. <clears throat> yeah, I could see it. Yeah. Um, is there anything else, Gene? No. 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 I gotta right. go lay down. I was tired. All right. Closing song. Oh, th- it is the open defecation song. <laughs> That's the song. So I guess you get to hear it in its entirety now. That's why it was here. All right. Um, that is. Good. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. It's uh, open defecation. DJ show reference. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mommies. Open defecation. Defecate in the open. Defecation. It's like equine diarrhea. Defecate in the open. Defecate in the open. Equine <laughs> diarrhea. It's like equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. I've seen a guy shit in alley. I saw a guy shit downtown. Anytime you have the urge to shit, you would just drop trow and just yeah. go. What are you doing, bro? Public defecation. Shitting in public. It's it's popping right now. That's, it's uh-huh. very hopping. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine equine diarrhea. Drop trow and drop trow and. Drop trow and drop trow and yeah, that's urban living. Drop trow and drop trow and drop trow and drop trow and open defecation. Took two shits this morning. Open defecation. Open defecation. I'm gonna really shit my pants lately. Open defecation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Pa 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 pa. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pa 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 pa. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's popping right now. It's like equine diarrhea. Defecate in the open. Defecate in the open. Equine <laughs> diarrhea. It's like <laughs> equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Equine diarrhea. Man, have you ever shit outside? I saw a guy shit downtown. Anytime you have the urge to shit, you would just drop trow and just yeah. go. What are you doing, bro? Public defecation. Shitting in public. <laughs> It's it's popping right now. That's, it's uh-huh. very hoppy. You miss 100% of the dicks you don't try to stuff in your hole. That's Blue Man, that's your next project, dude.